So a lot of people ask me, what is the timeline of a successful business? Because especially when you're in startup mode, it seems like you're just at the beginning of a massive journey. And the first thing that I want you to know is that's actually the most exciting part. Because when we are in startup, it's something that we haven't done before. And most business owners are in it for the long run, at least three to five years. So let's break down in three simple uh, segments what uh, I see is the timeline for a successful business. The first one is your startup phase. This is your foundations. And this is one of the most crucial times that you need to be working on this because you need to make sure that the outcome is so awesome that no roadblock, no challenge, no little bit of overwhelm is going to stop you from overcoming this step and getting to where you wanna be. While in this entrepreneurship startup phase, we're working more as a solopreneur because you might not necessarily have the money or the backing to invest in hiring a team, the, there's going to be a lot of hard work. There's going to be late nights. There's going to be six day work weeks. But what is three months of hard work if you can create a lifetime of financial success and impact, most importantly, in a business? So during this phase, you're going to be looking at things like, uh, you know, changing your routine because you're starting a business and might be moving out of a full-time job. You've also got to think about how to self-motivate and self-regulate. One of the best ways to do this is to find a community of people that have moved ahead of you so that you can start to look at them and what they're doing and be motivated and inspired by the journey that they're taking and where they're getting to, but also creating some ideas from what they're doing so that you can start to implement that in your business as well. One of the most important parts of this stage is also systems and processes. Start to build these things early. When something new comes up, yes, think progress, not perfection and push through it, but start to build systems and frameworks and operational procedures so that when you do start to hire a team, you don't need to create that stuff. It's already there for you. The next phase is what I like to call the grow stage. Now, this is when, you know, things are starting to take off. You're starting to get to 10, 20, 30K months, starting to build your business. And you might start to look at hiring team members to support you so that you can start to grow things quicker. This is definitely sort of the teenage years of a business where you might want to push some buttons and, and stretch some outcomes and test and measure the results that you can get month on month. But the focus is still on growing and building an audience, growing your brand and getting your name out there. The final stage is what I like to call scale. And this is when you really start to automate, systemize, hire a team, take a step back, start to do the things that you really love and start to grow and scale an amazing company. Now, if you want some help with these steps, the one thing that I want you to remember is that the best thing that you can always do is ask. I think that's where a lot of the members in Level Up that, you know, a lot of the clients that we work with get stuck is they feel like as an entrepreneur, they've got to do it all on their own. And if they don't do it on their own, they're letting themselves down or letting other people down because they're the head of the business and they should know better. I want you to know that is far from the truth. Uh, successful business owners, successful people don't do it alone. And the more that you ask for help, the more you seek support, the more you are willing to find a mentor and a community to guide you, the faster you will succeed.